Hey everybody, it's Pastor Wildy. I'm here in my office, surrounded by my office plants today, because I want to talk to you about Jonah. And maybe that surprises you a little bit, because if you're like me, probably the first place your mind goes when you hear the name Jonah is to the amazing story of when God told him to take God's word to Nineveh, and instead he went the other way and God had him swallowed by a great fish or a whale or something to spit him back out and send him back to Nineveh where he was supposed to be. But I don't want to talk to you about Jonah and the whale or the fish. Today I want to talk to you about Jonah and the plant. Maybe not the first story you think of when you think of Jonah. And I'll give you a little bit of background before we read it, and then we'll see what we can uh, learn from God's word today. Jonah, as you know, was a prophet. He was called to serve the people of Nineveh, but he really didn't want to serve them there. He, he was, first off, probably a little bit scared of them because they were big and scary and evil. They, they fought against Jonah's people, and maybe Jonah didn't like them very much either. But finally, God, you know, through the whale, forced him to go to Nineveh, and he went and he preached. He said, 40 days and Nineveh is going to be destroyed unless you turn away from your sinful ways. And amazingly, when the people heard God's word, they recognized their sinful ways and they had sorrow over their sin and they turned back and they asked for God's forgiveness and God forgave them and changed his mind. So because they, they repented, God said, I'm not going to destroy Nineveh. And Jonah got pretty upset about that. He thought that wasn't very fair. He didn't like the Ninevites. He knew they were evil and he goes outside of the city to wait for their destruction and he tells God, well, this is why I didn't want to come. I thought you would forgive them and I don't want them to be forgiven. I want them to suffer. That's not fair if you forgive them. You know what they've done to us. They're so evil and nasty and bad. They deserve your punishment. So he goes outside the city to wait for the punishment that's not coming. And that's where we pick up. This is in Jonah chapter 4. We'll read verses 5 through 11 and see what happens next. This is Jonah and the plant. Jonah had gone out and sat down at a place east of the city. There he made himself a shelter, sat in its shade, and waited to see what would happen to the city. Then the Lord God provided a leafy plant and made it grow up over Jonah to give shade for his head, to ease his discomfort. And Jonah was very happy about the plant. But at dawn the next day, God provided a worm which chewed the plant so that it withered. When the sun rose, God provided a scorching east wind, and the sun blazed on Jonah's head so that he grew faint. He wanted to die, and said, It would be better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, Is it right for you to be angry about the plant? It is, he said, and I'm so angry I wish I were dead. But the Lord said, You have been concerned about this plant, though you did not tend it or make it grow. It sprang up overnight and died overnight. And should I not have concern for the great city of Nineveh, in which there are more than 120,000 people who cannot tell their right hand from their left, and also many animals? That's actually the end of the book of Jonah. And it's kind of amazing because we see something really ugly in Jonah. We see how much he wants God to be fair. He wants God to punish the Ninevites for their sin. But in that ugliness we see in Jonah, we see a beautiful thing about God. Yeah, Nineveh deserved punishment. But God cared about them, even more than Jonah cared about the plant. We saw how upset Jonah was when the plant was taken away. God loved the city of Nineveh, even though it was evil. God loved the city of Nineveh, even more than Jonah loved that plant. So God says, Jonah, why are you so concerned about this plant? You're so upset about that. Shouldn't I be upset about a whole city of people who don't know about me and know about the Savior? That's called grace. God loves people who don't deserve his love. That's what God's trying to show Jonah. It's not all about fairness. It's about grace. And we're benef we benefit from God's grace as well. We're kind of like the people of Nineveh. We're sinful and wrong and, and naughty and evil at times. And, and God forgives us in his grace. And that's not fair, but it's good. So when we see God offering forgiveness to people that we don't really want to have forgiven, we're acting more like Jonah. And we shouldn't do that. We should instead rejoice in the grace and love that God has for all of his people because there's no better comfort than knowing God loves you so dearly. He loves you more than Jonah loved that plant. He loves you so much that he sent Jesus to die in your place so that you can go to heaven. I don't know about you. Um, I, when I look at this, though, I think I would rather have God's grace than insist on fairness every single time. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to be our Savior. We recognize that it's not fair that you died in our place instead of us, but we thank you for your grace. You didn't have to die, but you chose to because you loved us so much. Thank you for doing that. Help us to show that same love for others every day of our lives. In your name we pray. 
Amen.